Hi Devin, just messaging you from your YouTube channel. I have the OE Evo X in Portland that I was thinking about parting with. She's been sitting in the driveway for about three years, about 105,000 miles. I last checked before the battery went out. All ETS, four inch black, intercooler, anodized intercooler, O2 dump, downpipe, cast pipe, ETS intake and filter, ETS upper intercooler pipe, turbo smart, dual four BOV competition stage two clutch, Ibach Pro Springs, Roto Grid, 18 by 9.5, radio, blah, 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 tune by English racing. Now he's sending me photos of it. What color do you think it is? Red. It's Sit. Red. What if it's an automatic? Oh, oh, it's red. It's red. It's fucking red. This is it. We're gonna go get this car. It's red. This is your car. Okay, tell him we're gonna go get it. I want the red one, so I give you my white one. No. But my, it's the a good deal. The white camo one? No, the, no. Oh, no. sorry, no deal. I want a red one. I, I'll have to take the camo one. <laughs> I found you a car. I know. Let's go get it. You want to see weekend. more photos? Let's go this weekend. He said it's a halfway rebuilt title. What's that mean? Half the car was erected and then he built half the car. It's a halfway rebuilt. That's not a thing. Yeah, it is. It's called HR. It's an <laughs> HR title. So, babe. All right, I got a new message. Come here. Clean title. Wife was driving it when it went dead. My only guess is that it changed stretch and said no more. So, with that being said, Chain stretched, it probably took out the head. So a uh, tiny chain, right? You have, you have the bottom end of the motor, you have a crank, which turns the pistons. Mm -hmm. There's a chain that runs the heads, which turns the cams. So if that either stretches or breaks, the valves and the pistons. Oh. Well, either way, the valves are fucked. The head might be fucked in bottom end. You don't know any of that until you check the trailer for it. So can you offer a five? This is literally perfect. It's that, it has springs on it, so I don't know if you want to get a coils. Oh, definitely. Was looking for six, but flexible. Off from five. I'm not going to off from anything until we get down there. Really? That's how we roll it. Because oh. when I'm there in person, I'm like, oh, this is fucked up, this is fucked, this is fucked, this is fucked. We would you take four or five or something. Yeah. Six is a decent deal. We would literally have to leave tomorrow. She got buttercup. Ah! I beg of you not to put that on. Well guys, this is it. This is the video that many people have been waiting for. We are headed to Portland, Oregon to pick up a new car for Bobby. All right, let's hit the road. Jack and... Never come back. Is that how you're affording the car? Yes. What is it? Scratch ticket. All right, we are one minute away, 0.2 miles away from checking out Bobby's new car. Huh? I'm so excited. Are you sick of driving my truck? Okay. Figured. He said this car's been sitting in his driveway for three years. And it's like a really nice neighborhood too. Then the destination is on your left. Oh boy, oh boy. Where is it, where is it? Watch it not even be there. I see it. I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Maybe? That red thing. I'm getting kind of anxiety. Are you? Kinda. Good. Oof! Oof! I love that color. It looks so damn good. There she is. Why do you have your box open? That color's so sick. That's why. Here, take the camera. Hell nah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's some bad days. Yeah. Well, it's not bad at all, dude. No, the uh, the tow truck driver was uh, was towing it, cracked this part, mm -hmm. and then uh, I watched literally. I watched his chain come slap oh when he was taking gosh. off, come slapping, nail the hood, that sucks. and he denied everything. No so. way. What? Yeah, yeah. That's messed up. Yeah. What do you think? It's not bad at all. You said it's been sitting here for about three years? Two years, actually. Two years? Yeah, I said three years, but it's been two years. Yeah. The wow. time flies by. The last time it was yeah. on the road was May 2017. Uh-huh. So, um, yeah, wife was driving it. 
and uh, it was running fine. Yeah. And then when she went to start it up, it may, I sent you that video where mm -hmm. it made the noise, and then it was towed home. Is it like the same as yours? It's yeah, identical it to mine, yeah. All carbon fiber wrapped stuff. It's pretty clean in here. Mm -hmm. Different, it's got a radio in there already. It's got like, gauges. Yeah, solid. Can I have it? I, I'll trade you for my white one. Mm, okay. So you had, did you have English do all the work on it? Like all the mods and everything, or did you, you just do it yourself? No, I did it myself. I meant English tuned it. Yeah, English tuned English it. Tuned it. Uh, nothing insane, it was just 360, 320. Yeah, so. pretty typical with those mods. Yeah. Perfect for her though, dude. She doesn't need a crazy fast, like, built car that gives her problems all the time. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. able to do a 12 too, so. Yeah, that's solid. And then you already, you said you did a clutch in here too? Yeah, it's a uh, competition clutch, stage two. Perfect. Um, Money. Yeah, I'm curious is what, get home and start tearing this thing apart, see what's actually wrong with it. That's yeah, it wonders. could be something stupid, it could be something, yeah. I think it might have skipped the timing. Makes sense, yeah. So, it's not positive. Mm -hmm. Oil's two years old. <laughs> What are you gonna do right off the bat? I'm gonna do taillights, front lip, wheels. I really want coils. That's it for right now. Maybe you should get it running first. <laughs> oh, that part. <laughs> so basically what is going on with this car is he thinks the timing chain stretched and possibly uh, slipped. So it could have bent a valve. We won't really know until we get it home and like at least do a compression test or leak down and see what exactly is going on with it. But this car is pretty dang clean overall. Gotta throw some powder coat on these Brembos. They're a little bit crusty. I think it's a clear coat that peels off on them. You're off the face for it? Yeah. You're pretty firm on my face or? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty flexible. Are you? So, what are you thinking? It's your money's. Um, would you take five for it? I'd meet in the middle. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a sad moment for you? <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like I said, I had no <coughs> intention of uh, getting rid of it. Yeah. You know. Kind of emotional oh, yeah. attachment. How long have you had it for? Since 2011. Oh wow, um, so, that's a long time. Yeah, my kids kind of grew up in it. Oh. Yeah. Here, here's a book oh. of receipts for you. Oh, that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. And some other parts right there. A few little things. Oh, okay. This nice. is so much different than a Genesis. <laughs> you can't even compare. <laughs> They're not even in the same realm, dog. What? That's like comparing a Geo Metro versus like a... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Have fun. It'll be fun watching you guys work yeah, on it. Yeah. I'm so excited. I got the title, he has yeah. the money. Awesome. Yeah. Have fun. fun with it. Yeah, yeah we will. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, enjoy. All right, so we got the car loaded up. Everything's good to go. Here's what the car needs. The car does have a blown motor, guys, of course, for the price of $5,500. It's gonna have a blown motor. That's such a good price. That is a good price. So Bobby is the one who bought this car. This is her car. How does it feel to bust your ass and buy your own damn Evo? I, instead of me giving you one. What? Yeah, I, well, I would never take it, given one to me. But yeah, I'm so, so stoked that I have an Evo 10 and it's not Devin's car, it's my own car. <laughs> uh shit so, so what the car needs hood respray um obviously motor work that oil pan does have a hole in it so 
I don't know if that happened when we were loading it on the trailer. That's what the solder thought happened, but I am not gonna know until we get home. So it needs that. Obviously a lot of motor work. Um, like a pretty big hole? No. It's either it threw a rod or it actually did just happen. And if it threw a rod, it's gonna need a lot of motor work. So we'll see when I start turning it apart what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is get home, do a compression test, and if the compression test is fine, I will do a leak down test. If that's fine, then I'll just do a, obviously throw a new oil pan on it and do a timing chain because that is what he thought went wrong if the timing chain stretched. So obviously retime it, throw a timing chain on there. And then as far as aftermarket mods go, this is where it gets a little juicy and I'm freaking excited because we don't have to do anything like power wise. It's got intercooler, all intercooler piping and intake, all ETS parts as well. Intake, down pipe, test pipe, exhaust, uh, three port, and a three-port boost controller, I believe, as well. And then it's tuned by English. And it made 360 at the wheels. Bobby's used to whopping like 205, 210 on the Genesis. Yeah, but I do drive your Bill Evo all the time. So. I know, but for your own car, though, that's a lot of power. That's like yeah. almost twice as what like you're a, used as to. as a daily driver. Yeah. So that's pretty sick. I'm really excited with all that, especially that it's tuned by English. We all know they're a good shop here, down here in Portland. But yeah, guys. I guess we're gonna start the trek back home. Bobby does want to do a few mods on the car already, and it's not even running. Show us the new taillights, front lip, new wheels too. Yeah. New wheels, and that's pretty much it for now. But yeah, we should probably get it running first.